This past week, the Las Vegas Raiders moved on from two guards, John Simpson and Lester Cotton. So they needed some guard help. And today they went and signed Natain Moody off of the Denver Broncos practice squad. And this one fires me up. Uh, you know, a lot of people don't know this, but Natain Moody was a guy that I was super, super high on. The guy came out of Fresno State. When he came out, he was the strongest offensive lineman coming out. He did 44 bench press reps that year, which is ridiculous. Uh, super strong, super physical. And, you know, his bench press reps and that strength was backed up on tape. I remember watching his tape against Alabama, and he was doing a great job on tape. And I had him as one of the best guards coming out that year. Now, he obviously went in the sixth round, and he hasn't worked out. Um, and there's a couple of reasons for that, right? Uh, he's been super, super banged up. Uh, he's had injury issues, and then most recently, the Broncos have went forward with a different guard, right? They went out and they drafted a couple guys uh, that they drafted to play tackle, never worked out at tackle, so, uh, and they ended up moving those guys to guards, and those guards are not good football players, and Moody just has never been healthy, so for the Broncos, they have went ahead and moved forward, and they've decided that because Moody hasn't been healthy, they're going to go ahead and move forward without him, uh, and they have kept them around, right? He was on the practice squad. And he actually was asked to play this past week against the Chiefs. And he played in 28 snaps against the Chiefs at left guard specifically. We'll watch some of his tape a little bit later on. Uh, but as I watched the tape against the Chiefs, he looked pretty good. He looked physical. He looked powerful. And I think for the Raiders, this is a great pickup. This is a great signing because these are the type of guys you need for this game. Uh, John Simpson and Lester Cotton struggled with processing. Uh, they struggled with being physical at the point of attack. Both guys were handpicked by Tom Cable and John Gruden for the zone scheme. And that's not what the Raiders are anymore, right? The Raiders run a power screen. So you need strong physical football players. And Moody is a guy who could potentially be a good option. And I'm probably saying his name wrong, so I apologize. But uh, he's a guy that I'm fired up for. Um, a truly, truly fired up for. Obviously, I know it hasn't worked out for him in the NFL yet. So chances are it won't work out with the Raiders, right? That's kind of what the chances are. But I think there is upside. He's a young football player still. Uh, isn't even 24. Yeah, he's 23 years old right now. A lot of upside if he's able to stay healthy and if he gets coached up. Plus, the power scheme makes it much easier than the zone scheme. Uh, so I think for him, this is a great fit to be here with the Raiders. Understand the Broncos just hired a brand new coach. They switched to the outside scheme. Uh, again, it doesn't favor him, right? So... For the, him being with the Raiders, most favorable for him. And I'm fired up, man. I want you guys to watch some of his tape because I think the guy has a lot of really good potential. All right, you guys, let's go ahead and jump right into this breakdown. In my opinion, the thing with Natain Moody and what I saw when I watched all of his snaps against the Kansas City Chiefs, he's very aggressive. He looks for work. He's going to double team the defensive tackle there. He's going to go out to the DN and he's going to put his ass into the dirt. And once he puts a guy into the dirt, he's not finished. He's going to look to take it to the next guy. Bam, he goes and hits the next guy. Now, he doesn't fully make contact, nor does he put that second guy down. Uh, but that mindset, that mentality is something I can respect. Right? John Simpson, Lester Cotton, they weren't cutting it. And Natane Moody, on the other hand, has this aggressive ability to him. But it's not just that. The guy is physical. He's powerful. And he looks to hurt people at times. On this play right here, He's going to pull out and he's going to do a great job making contact and absolutely crushing number 55. Watch this from the end zone angle and watch the aggressive tendency here. Look at how he gets out in space and hits 55 and he sticks with him. He hits him a second time. And I hope you guys are realizing these tendencies. When a guy pulls and makes contact with someone, generally speaking, they just stick to a guy and they don't really care to do anything past that. This guy's looking to go and hit a guy a second third fourth fifth time he plays from snap to whistle and this is what fires me up about this guy and i'll be the first to tell you guys moody is not a guy that i've watched a lot of while he's been with the broncos but he's a guy that i loved in college and he's a guy that this year on tape he looks really really aggressive and really really good at the same time i see plays like this where he's gonna snatch and trap this defensive tackle now, understand this gets called. You guys see the penalty. It gets called as a hold, but this is just a garbage call in my opinion. Uh, maybe the referee looked last minute, looked his way, uh, but this play happens hundreds of times a season and rarely will it ever get called as a hold. Uh, basically, he's going to snatch with the right hand. He's going to snatch down the left hand of the D tackle right there, 
And he's basically just removing leverage of this defense stack when he puts him into the dirt. Uh, this right here is an advanced move that most guys can't do. Only the top tier offensive lineman can properly snatch and trap. Obviously, the referee right there calls it a hold. Terrible call in my opinion. But from the guard's perspective, these are the type of things that I want to see on tape. I want to see a guy snatch and trap properly. I want to see a guy pull and get aggressive and put someone in the dirt. Now, do note. Uh, the Broncos did have their starting left guard go out. And then even the backup that they initially put in, something happened with him. And he also ended up going out. And then Moody was the third left guard that came into the game for them. So I don't know if that's what the Broncos think of him or if he's just the third option, the third backup to kind of come in. But that is something I just wanted to quickly point out. Let's get into the next rep. One of the things I often say is guys got to play quick. They got to play aggressive, especially at the inside spot. Uh, no one helps a center and tackle more than a guard, left guard or right guard. This is a great example. He's going to make contact with Chris Jones. He knows that he has a slide to his side and because the guy here drops back into coverage, he knows he can pass off Jones to the center. That's exactly what he does. And then he's going to go and help his left tackle. Bam, get to number eight. That right there is a great job playing quick, great job playing aggressively. Great processing, right? Going from one guy to the other, passing a guy off. These reps look really, really good on tape, in my opinion. Now, one of the things that we had talked about with Simpson and Cotton, uh, specifically Simpson, if you guys watched the video from earlier today, was that he was not good in, in terms of processing. Um, here's an example, a great example of Moody being able to process. He's going to take on the first guy there, make contact. Here comes the defensive line game. Uh, the DN's going to come to the inside. 51's going to come to the outside. Moody's going to switch. Take on this defensive end. And then he's going to stop him as well. And he's going to be able to give the quarterback the pocket. Fourth and seven right here. And the quarterback throws a touchdown. This play right here works because the offensive line is able to properly switch on the defensive line game. You're really in a two-on-two -two situation because the center is going to slide to his left. Uh, so you're really in a two-on-two -two situation. Guard has tackle. Tackle has end, and if they run a game, you got to switch because if Moody doesn't pick up 55, 55 is getting to the quarterback. That's a great job right there by those two guys. I'm really excited for Natane Moody. Alrighty, guys, there you guys have it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, man. Let me know what you guys think about Moody. Do you guys think he actually has a shot to be on this roster? And will we actually play, right? So let me know what you guys think. Comment below, thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time with another video.